good day, the state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, Sons of Western Armenia, Karen Jalavian, on the issue of the Armenians of Western Armenia. During the blockade period, more students participated in classes than before. Rector of Artsakh State University, Macron's historic decision, the remains of Misak Manushian will be buried in the French Pantheon. The efforts of the Baku delegation failed in the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe. The issue of Berdor's pass is on the agenda. Military escort visitors to Khoran Ashad along the Bypass Road. The Festival of History and Legend of Tunic in the mountains will be held in Tatev. Karen Jalavian was born on January 25, 1971. Karen Jalavian is also known by the nickname Kyoch. Jalavian is a colonel of the Defense Army of the Republic of Artsakh, a hero of Artsakh, and the commander of the military unit Yehniknet. In 2015, by the decree of the President of the Republic of Armenia, Karen Jalavian was awarded the second degree medal for services to the motherland. On September 21, 2016, by the decree of the President of the Republic of Armenia, he was awarded the Order of the War cross first degree on october 1st 2020 during the 44 day war karen jalavian was awarded the highest state title of artsakh hero of artsakh by the president of the republic of artsakh Haray karutunian kyok the commander of the military unit yarnikner has been a hero from the very beginning the location of yarnikner has always been considered the most dangerous place for military service it is right in the heart of the enemy when parents send their sons to the army the greatest fear is that they will go there and not everyone knows why Kyoch, in the heart of the enemy, all soldiers have always been his children. Cut off from the world, he turned the most dangerous border location into a self-sustaining community. He bought cows and other domestic animals, became knowledgeable about all the plants in Artsakh, and cultivated wild berries, fruits, and vegetables. It was very important for the soldiers to have access to fresh milk, yogurt, fruits, vegetables, and to drink green tea made from Artsakh plants to regain their health on the spot. His location in the heart of the enemy turned into a fairy tale kingdom, a village. And what is a village without its kyoch? This name is held higher than any title and red carpet. Yarnik Ner stood in the heart of the enemy. In the past, jewelry for Armenians held a significant meaning as it was associated with self-defense and aura cleansing. Every Armenian wore jewelry that was appropriate for their age. People attributed symbolism to jewelry and wore it not only for its beauty but also as talismans with a protective role. In antiquity, men also adorned themselves with valuable ornaments. Wearing a silver belt was seen as a symbol of masculinity, while gold represented wealth. Silver smithing and goldsmithing have been popular crafts since ancient times, and remarkable examples have been discovered during excavations in Devin, which are now preserved in the History Museum. Armenians were known as true masters of the craft of silversmithing in different parts of the world, from Utopia to Persia. One of the prominent Armenian silversmiths of the early period was Arturum Berberian, originally from one. One silversmithing school was considered one of the best in antiquity. Arturum first apprenticed to his father, Master Armenak, and later the Berberian family moved to Tavris. There, Arturum became a student of the renowned jeweler silversmith Panos Agajamarian and Atom Agasamposhian, both born in Van and residing in Tavris. Berberian crafted necklaces using combinations of different metals and precious stones. He also created trays, jugs, and ornaments using various artistic metal and wood processing techniques. Despite the blockade, education in Artsakh is proceeding normally. Armen Sarkisian, the rector of Artsakh State University, informed Alpha News about the university entrance exams held this semester and the organization of the educational process under the blockade. He assured that all measures are being taken to ensure the continuity of the educational process, including higher education in Artsakh, Armen Sarkisian stated. This year, there are more applications for departments such as economics, law, and languages. The departments of chemistry, biology, pedagogy, Armenian language and literature also have sufficient applicants. Artsakh State University has received 275 applications for the current undergraduate education system. In August, the distance learning system will commence, along with the second phase of master's and postgraduate entrance exam. Despite the complete or partial lack of heating during winter, classes at Artsakh State University continued without interruption. It was undoubtedly challenging, but we made efforts to organize the educational process as a whole. He mentioned that 40 
students from Artsakh State University unable to return to Artsakh due to the blockade attended classes remotely. When discussing the mood and emotions of young people and students under the blockade conditions, the rector emphasized that their morale was very good. On June 18, the day General de Gaulle called for the liberation of France, the Élysée officially announced French President Emmanuel Macron's historic decision to transfer the remains of Misak Manouchian, hero of the French resistance and survivor of the genocide against the Armenians, to the French pantheon. This was reported by the RA embassy in France. The Élysée press release mentioned that President Emmanuel Macron highly appreciated Misak Manouchian's exceptional feat, the patriotic elan that crossed all borders, which are a particular source of inspiration inspiration for France. Misak Manushan embodies parts of France's greatness. He is the bearer of universal values, liberty, equality, fraternity, and the build with them. He and his comrades in arms defending the French Republic. In this way, Misak Manushan will become the first foreign personality to enter the pantheon containing the remains of French greatness, becoming an important symbol of the age-old friendship uniting the Armenian and French peoples. In paying tribute to Misak Manushan, survivor of the genocide committing by success Excessive Turkish governments against the Armenians, France also expresses its gratitude to all Armenians who, born in foreign lands, sacrificed their lives in the name of French freedom and French values and became worthy children of France with their split blood. The government of Western Armenia is proud that its children, whatever their country or residence, never hesitate to fulfill their duty to the country that welcomed and sheltered them. France is no exception, and our sons have repaid that country in full. Misak Manushyan, born in Adiyaman in Western Armenia, is one of them. Unfortunately, today's France seems to be if it wants to atone for this injustice it did to Armenian people in 1920 when it disbanded the Armenian Legion and handed liberated Cilicia over the Turks. In the new geopolitical situation, France once again needs the help of the Armenian state and wants to win our hearts with this step. France is not the only country that needs our help. Today, we, as an indigenous nation living on our territory and with statehood, are a very important factor in the emerging new geopolitical political map. The efforts of the Baku delegation to prevent the inclusion of the Berzo Road issue on the agenda of the PACE summer session have failed. Vladimir Vartanyan, a member of the Armenian delegation to PACE, provided this information. As reported by Armen Press, according to MP PACE, overwhelmingly included this issue on the agenda for the current session. The debate on this urgent matter is scheduled to take place on June 22. Last year, the 800th anniversary of the Khoran Ashat Monastery Complex was celebrated with a ceremony. Samuel Sagoyan, the head of Chinari village in Bert community, reported that Khoran Ashat is only 150 meters away from the actual Armenian-Azerbaijani front line. Visiting Khoran Ashat is considered dangerous, and therefore soldiers accompany visitors to the monastery. According to Sagoyan, the condition of Khoran Ashat is deteriorating and it requires urgent repairs. In 1946, the residents of Chinari village partially resorted the Khoran Ashad Monastery through their own efforts, but it now requires significant restoration. On June 24 to 25, an immersive festival called in the mountains dedicated to the history and legends of Sunik will be held in Tatev. The festival will feature theatrical performances, master classes, music, national dances, and games, traditional dishes, and tours of ancient villages. The two-day program aims to promote cultural and gastronomic tourism in Sunik. Guests and tourists will have the opportunity to participate in various events, enjoy the mountain panorama of Sunik, and experience a thrilling flight on the Tatev Arcade cable car over the Vorotan Gorge. The cable car's destination is the Tatev Monastery Complex, one of the most significant spiritual, educational, and architectural monuments of the Middle Ages, dating back to the 9th century. The festival will encompass several directions or areas of interest. Additionally, an excursion to the village of Alidor will be organized, offering an interactive presentation titled Local Life in the 17th Century. On the second day of the festival, a visit to the village of Khanzoresk is planned. Thank you for your time and attention. Now the musical part, the Armenian folk song. <laughs> Անուշ խոսկու էր ամով կատում է տերևից, գլուղ սարնին ուլման գորի մասիրդ եարի էրես։